Hello again. I'm very interested in the history of inventions, which is why I have so many books on the subject. Things like the Thousand and One Inventions, Great Inventions Through History, 70 Great Inventions of the Ancient World, that sort of thing. I've got a dozen of books of this sort. One of the things which strikes one upon glancing through these books is that almost everything which has ever been invented in the history of the world was thought up by either Europeans or people from the Middle East. A few things, such as paper, gunpowder, porcelain, magnetic compasses and movable type, had their origins in China. But apart from that, everything is from the two parts of the world which I have mentioned. Nothing in the last 35,000 years has been invented, developed or discovered by the indigenous inhabitants of Australasia, North or South America, the vast majority of Asia, or Sub-Saharan Africa. I find this intriguing and would be genuinely interested to hear what viewers think might be the cause of this. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a book called A Thousand and One Inventions That Changed the World, uh, published by Cassell, 2009. Right. Let me just give you an idea of what I mean. The inventions are listed alphabetically. I'll read out the A's. Abacus, electric power system, accelerator, acrylic paint, adaptive optics, adjustable wrench, aerosol, argo cooker, airbag, air brake, air conditioning, airship, alcoholic drink, alphabet, aluminium foil, ambulance, amplitude modulation, Anemometer, aneroid barometer, anesthesia, anodized aluminium, answering machine, anthrax vaccine, airlock braking system, antiseptic surgery, antiviral drugs, aqualung, aqueduct, Arabic numerals, arc lamp. Well, I don't think I really need to go all through the A's, do I? Every single thing that I just read out is a product of European thought and ingenuity. Some of these Europeans had, of course, emigrated to the United States, but nothing in that list was thought up by anybody who was not of white European ancestry. This is interesting. Rather than being distributed across those whose ancestry lies in North and South America, Africa, Asia and Australasia, almost everything which has been invented in the world has come from the intellects of white Europeans and people from a small part of the Middle East. Of course, it is not thought quite the thing to mention this, because it does tend to make books such as these not very diverse or inclusive. Searching through them, we find that since stone tools first appeared in Africa, that is pretty much limited what has been dreamed up by black Africans. This book, the 70 Great Inventions of the Ancient World, which I mentioned is published by Thames and Hudson, 2001 in London, for those that want to uh, read it for themselves. There is a question mark over the bone harpoon, which might have its origins in sub-Saharan Africa. An ancient one from Central Africa may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. But that's the most recent thing which could have come out of Africa. That was about 35,000 years ago. The oldest examples of wooden spears are all from Europe, as is the world's earliest boomerang. From these devices, right up to computers and space rockets, it is Europe all the way, with the occasional contribution from China. All this is very embarrassing for all parties, of course, which is why modern history books tend to play down the business. There is quite a thriving cottage industry among African Americans in devising untruthful claims that black people invented everything from electric lights to folding chairs, but there's not a word of truth in it. In the description to this video, I give a link to a YouTube video made by a black person to try and claim credit for those of African heritage for all kinds of things, 
and to suggest that, that people have been cheated out of the rightful credit for these inventions. I'm open to any explanation for what is observed, which could also be expanded to ask why it was that Europeans built up industrial civilizations and then went to Africa rather than the other way round. I need hardly say that modern books are now trying to suggest that ancient Australians first came up with the principle of the aerofoil by virtue of having made boomerangs and so should be at least credited with the invention of the aeroplane. The first boomerang which we know of was carved from mammoth ivory uh, in what is now Poland 23,000 years ago. That's at least um, 13,000 years before the earliest Australian boomerang, so that's one claim we can discard. It's actually being taught, by the way, to Australian school children now that the Aboriginal inhabitants of Australia laid the foundations for powered flight. The same distortions are taking place in American schools, and I have no doubt at all we'll soon be seeing the same thing in this country. Anyway, those commenting here can put forward their own theories for what is observed and I'll be interested to hear.